Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Tech Talk video. Today's topic is SPAs versus MPAs, or single page applications versus multi-page applications. So I was on YouTube the other day in a video from the Google Chrome developers YouTube channel titled SPAs versus MPAs popped up in my recommendations. And it reminded me of a video I did some time back where I touched on uh, how quick people are to pick their favorite uh, single page application framework for most web projects, when in some cases there's really no need to. And I'm guilty of this too. So today I decided to touch on when and when not to use a single page application and multi-page application architecture. Please also check out the Google Chrome developers video. The link to that is in the description. Now let's first go over the difference between SPAs and MPAs. So single page applications are web apps that allow the user to interact with the application without having to reload or load a page every time. So the whole interaction is dynamic. Unlike with uh, multi-page applications, as the name suggests, uh, there are several pages and each data request or transfer requires a new page to be loaded and displayed to the user. Building a single page application can be achieved using common JavaScript frameworks like React, Angular, and several others. Previously, Ajax was the way to go when you wanted to kind of build a single page or a more dynamic application. Before I got started with React and Angular, I mainly worked with uh, jQuery, and the jQuery Ajax method provided a great way for building dynamic applications. And examples of MPA frameworks would include uh, Django Web Framework, ASP.NET, and several others as well. These are just the two that I've worked with. And if you've worked with either one of these, uh, let's take Django for instance, you will know that when it comes to updating your UI or your views, you have to return an HTML file or template as, re as it's referred to in Django. So let's get into some of the pros and cons of SPAs and MPAs. We'll start off with SPAs. So some of the pros of using an SPA architecture include better speed and performance. So when your app initially loads, you load all the resources that your app needs. And after that, the whole interaction with your users is very dynamic. So you don't need to reload any pages like in a multi-page application. And another benefit is that your front end and back end are separate. So going back to the example of Django and uh, ASP.NET, with these type of frameworks, your front end and back end are coupled. And another benefit is that debugging is slightly easier with front-end frameworks because uh, you have tools for React, for example, like React Dev Tools, which make it slightly easier for you to debug your application. Now, the disadvantages of using an SPA architecture is mainly around SEO because your app is dynamic. You don't re you, it's dynamic. Sorry, you don't really have several pages that can be indexed by search engines. And another disadvantage is that uh, your app is heavily reliant on JavaScript. So users have to have JavaScript enabled for your application to actually work. Now, when it comes to MPAs, they are a great choice for SEO optimization. And in my experience, they provide a a uh, better way of keeping track of individual pages. So if you need to plug in Google Analytics, for example, and track like a specific portion of your site, then MPAs provide a better way of doing that. Uh, the disadvantages though, for me, the biggest one has to be the tight integration between the front end and the back end. Because if you had your front end and back end separated, then you could easily use the same back end endpoints for your mobile application as well if you do decide to build a mobile app later on. And another disadvantage uh, has to be the maintenance. If you have several pages that you need to maintain, that can get quite complicated. And it's it's more difficult, I'd say, than maintaining smaller components in like a single page application. And that's it for now, everyone. If you have any feedback or thoughts, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, till next time. Cheers.